All right, right now I'm standing next to what is formerly my Super Turbo 800. So what I did was I removed the super heavy lead acid battery. I recycled it. What I have here that's going to replace that battery is lithium ion phosphate. Uh, this is a 48 volt capacity, 30 amp hour. Uh, here's the motor. This is the uh, 48 volt motor that I just Replace with this 36 volt motor that that was from my Super Turbo 800. The only difference I can see is that the uh, the gear, the pinion gear, is smaller, and the length, overall length of the motor, is about three quarters of an inch shorter. This 36 volt is three quarters of an inch shorter. Um, on this new motor, I do have heat sinks on the uh, the outside of the motor just to keep it cool. I removed the the uh, the plastic deck here because obviously this tall uh, battery won't fit with the deck closed. So I'm gonna remove the deck altogether. Here's the uh, the original 36 volt um, controller. Down here I have the uh, the controller for this 48 volt uh, system. This, this was the gear for the Super Turbo 800 and the chain for the Super Turbo 800. As you can see it's uh, the teeth is uh, a lot shorter and the chain is a lot smaller compared to this one. So this is heavy duty it's not going to slip off. You're definitely going to need a one inch spacer for the spring shock here, you're gonna have to offset it about an inch, so uh, it'll clear the uh, the motor here. Power analyzer. This tells me um, the the power output, the the amperage, the amp hour, how much battery I'm using. These are just regular by uh, freestyle bicycle pegs I got from Walmart. The reason for these pegs is um, as you can see I, I don't have a deck so there's really no place for me to rest my feet I need these to rest my feet on uh, these this aluminum plate that I'm gonna slide in place I had a custom custom cut so that this is gonna protect the uh, the battery from the uh, the hex nut uh, it's also gonna it's gonna lock this uh, battery into place so it doesn't uh, shift around I have uh, space it about five washer spacers to the left so that it aligns with the uh, the pinion gear aligns with the rear sprocket so as you can see down here it's, I have five washer spacers so let me put the rest of this uh, together and uh, show you how it runs <coughs> this is my fully assembled scooter and I actually have a uh, a customized GoPro mount so I can uh, show you what um, a rider's uh, point of view looks like. Alright, I'm going to turn on the, uh, the key switch here. It's as simple as that and I'm ready to take off.